take two. Randy random. Let's go. All right, Randy random. Losing is fun. Commitment mode. We're not gonna make the same mistakes that we did last time. Really the biggest mistake was not building that trap run, so it's gonna be high on my list of priorities. Let's see, in terms of biome, I'm kind of leaning towards a temperate forest still. If it's Randy Random, I <laughs> I need a very average climate if I hope to stand a chance against him. Ooh, what I, I would love to do, <gasps> I would love to do a coastal city. Let's see if there's any good ones. Ooh, okay, so this one. This one, we're in a temperate forest. We're near a road, which is nice. We're a little far, far away from other factions, but we have granite and marble available to us and a year-round growing period. I like that. I like that. Um, with a northern coast, so we won't have enemies coming from the north. It's a little different from the mountainous base that I did before, but we're going to go with it. All right. Right off the bat, a quick sleeper who has cooking and planting skill. I love it. So Jackalope's in. We have Colin. He's nervous and he's kind. He's incapable of done labor, though. Normally, I'd be okay with that since he has such high construction and medical. However, I need someone who can do done labor. So I have a cook, I have a planter and a construction worker, and another planter and a medic. So I'm not looking for the perfect team. And this is definitely not a perfect team. They're a lot older too. They're all in their 50s and they all have health issues. So we'll see how this goes, but none of them are wimps. So the pain that they get from these health issues should only affect their mood. They shouldn't affect, they shouldn't affect whether or not they're capable of working. So let's go with this and hope that we get a good, useful animal, not a Yorkie. 100% not a Yorkie. If I get a Yorkie, I'm butchering it right away. Ah! I have a little kitten. His name is Cuervo. Look at that. Oh, great. I know cats are useless too, but I'm gonna keep them. All right, let's go ahead and unforbid everything around the map. All right, let's take a look at our map. So up north, oh. My heck, what are these ancient dangers doing? <laughs> this is not good. Not good at all. That is way too close. Yeah, let's go off to the side right here because I'm I'm seeing some pre-built stuff, so this might actually this might be helpful early on. Ooh, okay. What I am gonna do, let's go ahead and build our growing zones first. And let's go ahead and build a growing zone right here. We'll go ahead and make this rice so we can get some stuff grown quickly. Let's go ahead and expand this zone to start growing some corn. We are pretty close to the edge of the map. I'm okay with that for now. Everyone's gonna have firefighting and being a patient as their number one priority. Hoppy is our doctor. Juju has doctoring skill as well, apparently. She has four with a minor passion, so I'm gonna set that to number one as well. And let's see, so Ben's gonna be our cook, Juju's gonna be our construction worker, and I'll have her grow and plant as a secondary task. And Hoppy can do mostly growing and planting, so we'll do that there as well. When I am gonna also, I'm also gonna have Ben and Juju prioritize hauling. Let's go ahead and get a stockpile zone set up. I am gonna set Hoppy to cut a bunch of trees so we can get some wood so we can get a quick roof over our head and to do that i'm actually going to set his priority to plant cut first and then grow second so we'll get all those trees cut which will give us wood so that juju can go ahead and start constructing beds and a place to stay oh and before i forget i also need to equip them so let's take a look boom done and hoppy is cutting those trees so quickly um let's go ahead and take a look around the map there's some steel up there and there's some steel over here as well i do want to take advantage of all this rich soil at some point we'll have to figure out how to how to do that 
We'll grow something down there and we'll probably have to wall it off at some point, but that might be thinking a little too far ahead. I don't know if we're gonna even live that long. There's a lot of rich soil over here as well. Hot dang. Okay, the fact that we have an ancient danger on the map, however, I, I need that trap run. <laughs> so bad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a little place set up for us right here. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this <laughs> slate steel. We don't really need it at the moment. We'll also claim this and deconstruct that. We'll keep the sarcophagi. Um, actually, I don't, I don't think we can move it. We can build a copy, but we can't move it. So let's go ahead and deconstruct that as well. We'll get some extra steel from it. And the marble urn gives eight beauty. So let's keep that. Is there a table on the map though? That's the real question. There we go, we have a sandstone and a marble. I'm gonna go ahead and take the marble table from here. Let's reinstall it over here. And while Choo Choo gets to work constructing, she is moving very slowly. Ah! Oh my goodness, her moving speed is so bad. However, that's probably because of the crypto sleep sickness. Let's see, her spine decreases her moving by 30%. Her right leg, it looks like it just, it just hurts. And that's manageable. Let's go ahead and let's delete that. Um, what we can also do, we could also probably get some bedrooms made as well pretty quickly, which could help their mood overall. Ooh, these are gonna be some small bedrooms. Oh gosh. <laughs> and they are not even as well. We can go ahead and cancel that, that, and that. So if we build those, there's already a door right there. Let's build three more doors. It looks like Hoppy is still chopping trees, which is good and helpful. We'll go ahead and make some beds as well. And I actually, I think we're, I think we're off to an okay start. I think we're better off than we were last time. However, the fact that, <laughs> the fact that we're not uh, surrounded by any natural defenses worries me just a little bit. I tend to lean towards mountain bases because of their natural defense opportunities. So. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about this right now. I'll go ahead and expand this zone as well. What I might actually do, let's deconstruct this right here. And let's go ahead and get that work schedule made. Because I want to make sure that they're all going to actually do work. Okay, we won't worry too much about their recreation at the moment. I just want them to focus on getting a good first day in, and we'll worry about their recreational needs later. Go Juju, go. Come on, you got this, you, you gotta work. Do we have someone else who can do construction? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have Ben help her as well. Cause I, wa I want these bedrooms made. Come on, can we get them all in their own bedrooms that first night? Come on, you got this. What's their schedule at? Can they do it? Oh, I'm gonna give them a little extra work time. <laughs> oh, we got two bedrooms. Ah, <gasps> they all have their own bedrooms, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And we have this whole entire roofed area, look at them go. All right, so now we'll go ahead, we'll add some extra recreational time. We can also add a horseshoe pin right here. And look at that, we're starting our first day. Our first day in our own beds with our own bedrooms. No mood debuffs for them. Well, actually they do have mood debuffs, I know that for sure. But at least they don't have to sleep in the ground, at least they don't have to sleep in the barracks, so. I'm feeling good about this one. Feeling good about this round. 
and it looks like it looks like Hoppy has already finished cutting everything I asked him to cut because he's already started to grow. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and expand each of those zones just a bit. Not what I intended to do. Try again. Okay. Now we have a we have a ton of rocks laid out around the map. So Let's go ahead, let's put Ben back on. I saw that little heart. Ben was trying to woo Juju. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, Ben courted Juju by describing her as a glimmering pine tree. <gasps> See, I would respond well to that as well. Look at them go. That's beautiful. All right. <laughs> we are off to a good first day. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is stop right here. Um, we, I'm super excited about this run. I'm feeling really good about it. So we're going to let them do their thing. When we come back, we will be on day two and be on. And hopefully we can get a trap run made in that time. I think what we're also going to do, I'm going to make another storage room right here. And we'll make an actual like nice dining area so we'll go ahead and set this up to be made this is a big enough room i think we're gonna need some columns there we go we can actually go ahead and make that one bigger i think that column will support all of it let me let me redo this for just a second yeah that looks like it'll support it. <laughs> so we'll be able to, to get them to store everything over here. And uh, yeah, we'll worry about the trap run and we'll worry about the walls next episode. But for now, have a wonderful day. And if you want to get notified of the next time I post the next video in the series, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever time you're in right now.